So, Strike a pose. There's nothing to it. Is that a song? Do you not know that song? No. That's a Madonna song. Really? Yeah. Strike a pose? Yeah. It's a, Vogue. Oh. oh, Vogue. Let your body sway to the music. Something like that. I don't it's remember. Just like it. that. Oh man, yeah, she's not anywhere near as good. No. Hey, if you so, want to see a good dance, go go watch the dance <laughs> video. Hey everybody, welcome to Tabletop Coffee. My very good friend Keith Dunn and I am Chuck Rogers. So last week we talked about how to listen with your hear. Yes. Which is listen with humility, listen with empathy, which is head empathy and heart empathy, thoughts and emotions. Okay. And your own heart, just emotion. And then T this week is turn on the GPS, which okay. is generating possible solutions. So after I've heard you and you've heard me, and we're both soothed, then and only then can we really get to a place where we brainstorm as opposed to to brainstorm, which we'll talk about in, in a little bit. And that's so important because if you're if you're working through these situations and you're and you get to that place of calm and you're able to mm -hmm. at least communicate well, in order to move to that next stage, yeah. you really have to figure out the resolution to the problem. Well <laughs> or do you? Sometimes. Remember there are sometimes perpetual issues John Gottman calls them gridlock issues. We call mm, them, I think, loggerhead issues. That's true, loggerhead. You're just not going to see eye to eye on. Okay. But hopefully, there are sometimes, about 30% actually, you can actually solve the problem as opposed to simply just manage it. Or, you know, about 70% of the time, you have to just find a way to manage it. But that happens by generating possible solutions about how you're going to be able to move forward. Okay, well that's great. I'm excited to learn how to do that. Okay, I'll show you how. So now we're going to brainstorm as opposed to blame storm and come up with possible ideas about how to solve our problem. So I would say to my wife, honey, what ideas do you have? Let's just make a list of all ideas and there are no wrong ideas at that point. this point. We're just going to write down every idea and in fact it's a good idea to make up some that are just silly that neither one of us would want just to get us going. Okay. So some that you can just immediately weed yeah. out and say, so well, that's going to make a list and there's no judgment and then we'll get to the end and then we'll kind of look at them and then see where we go from there. Okay. So one thing I see is eating at restaurants, like middle of the road restaurants. They're not cheap. They're not super expensive. So, all right. So I'll put middle of road. Sure. Okay. 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 Yep. All right. I'll put out one and please know my heart. I'm just being funny. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll keep it the same as it is right now. We'll just continue with me taking my clients to where I believe is best and then believe and have faith in me that my plan will work and that it will pay off down the road by making this investment. So that's an idea. Okay. Not that we're going to keep it, but it's an idea. Well, I guess I'll be funny, too, and okay. let's say we just pack peanut butter sandwiches. P-B-J. Yeah, I could take my clients to, uh, in the, we could sit in the car and eat PBJs, or we could, uh, a picnic. Yeah, picnic would be good. Other ideas you have? We could never do we it. Could... This won't do it at all. It'd be Ooh. no lunches. Yeah. No lunches out. Okay, so what if we go outside of what we do as far as the feeding side of things, but as far as the money side and say you manage the credit card, you take care of okay. paying it, look, watching it and paying for it. So I manage credit card bills. Yes. So that you don't have to watch it, so that I do, so that I see it, so that it's just taken off your plate. That's correct. Okay. Fair enough. Good idea. I could uh, bring my clients home with me. We could just prepare meals here. Or we could all do all 
fast food. You schedule them outside of lunch time so that you don't have to take them to lunch. Okay, so just uh, uh, scheduling. Just go schedule uh, different time. Okay. Or I could instead of lunches, I could do breakfast because yes. breakfast meals typically are less expensive. Yes, they are than lunches and dinners. Right. Especially at the coffee cup. There are very few places. <laughs> All of the places you would go during lunch are not open for breakfast. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So yeah, that would be a total different way of doing it. Yeah. And I wonder, and truly, as I'm thinking about it, I mean. I uh, wonder how my clients would feel about having breakfast. So that's really that's feeling good to me. I don't know for sure why, okay. but it kind of feels good because it's not. Uh, it doesn't feel chintzy. It's like we're having breakfast. Right, because you are limited where you can go right. anyway. It's less expensive. We um, could just go for coffee. Right. Because coffee can be seen as a something that you do. Mm -hmm that is more high-end anyway, right? but it's really inexpensive, even though it's a two and a half dollar cup of coffee, that's really cheap compared to a $20 plate for everybody at lunch. Okay. So I would encourage the couple to continue making their list. Right. And then I would say, you know, there's probably some up there that both of you know that you you know you don't want right can you, can you cross those off yeah and so then we would go back through and cross off the ones that we know wouldn't want like sure fast, fast food yeah that's that's not that's not healthy and it's not impressive no. so we would both be in agreement about that eating at home probably not work yeah i agree it's not a I good think, idea i think it brings in too much of a personal mm -hmm. side with most clients mm -hmm. but if you had a client that you've been around for a long long time and you had a meal and your family was there yeah then that might be something different but not consistent basis yeah so what i would do is i would have the couple to go through and begin to weed out the ones that they know they you know like pbj that's that's not going to work <laughs> You know, probably going on picnics is not going to work. We would right. talked about that through. And then we would come up with maybe one or two different things to try. And okay. I encouraged my couples and individuals that I'm working with to tip dominoes as fast as they can and fail as fast as they possibly can. One domino, one might fall. One domino, four dominoes might fall. One domino is a gymnasium of dominoes might fall. So let's just tip a domino or two and try it and see what happens. And then, you know, be willing to go back and reevaluate and see how is this working for it, for each person. Okay. So that's turning on the GPS, generating possible solutions. But that only happens after everybody is soothed by listening with your hearing. That makes perfect sense because if you have not calmed down, there's no way you're thinking of this. I would still be thinking the same thing. You're spending too much money. Yeah. So bringing that down um, and getting an understanding that you are listening to what I what my complaints or my issues are um, makes me feel better about things. Plus, you are a great whiny spouse. Yeah, oh, I am. Yeah, there's no question. I'm really good at that. <laughs> All the way through and through. We all have a skill, right? Yes, we do. And I'm good at that. Thank you for spending time with us today and learning how to hear and have a heart. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> You're so cheesy. But, it's, but it sounds really good. It does. Yeah. And we'll put some uh, materials down below for folks to be able to check out if they would like some help in this area. Yeah, and, and we also have some really great videos mm -hmm. to watch along with these. Mm -hmm. One on flooding. Yeah, oh, that was a great one. Flooding is fantastic. Um, also, learning how to complain without, without blame. blame. Yes, that's a great one. And idea. then the dance. You've got to I'm see sorry. the dance. If I'm you want to see the full segment and how how to dance. Yeah, it's a great set of videos. It is great. It yes, is it great. Is. It, it will help you with your marriage and you'll learn what you need to do with your partner in order to communicate better mm -hmm. through all processes. So catch the dance. We will put links to all of these down below in the description. So be sure to check those out. We think that you'll learn a lot from that. Also, if you like what we've done, make sure to kick the bell. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Well, you can kick the bell. Don't don't hurt your computer when you do it. Click the bell. Click and, the subscribe. And like it. And like it. Like it.
do the thumbs up. So, until next time. See you then. <laughs>